from eLearning Channel Museum. This time, we're going to learn a very famous classical song known as For Alice by Beethoven. Have you ever heard this music before? This original song is a little longer than the one that I wrote it today. However, the most well-known part is the beginning and the ending. They're the same. So today, we're going to learn for at least only the opening part. And with this song, we're going to learn two-hand repeated note technique. Okay, let's see how it goes. Now, if you're looking at the score, it seems pretty confusing because the sharps and natures and right and left hand melody lines are keep moving between hands. But if you look carefully the notes, then it repeats the same pattern. So let's find how the pattern is written. Now, if you see the first one, it started with incomplete measure with the pick up it on E and D sharp. So the count will be three, four, one and two and three and it goes like that way. The beginning is exactly the same as the original. Just the way of writing is different. I wrote the song as quarter note as one count, but in the original song is eighth note is one count. So the rhythm and everything is exactly the same, but the way of writing is just different. So it should be much easier. Now let's just start writing first. So it starts on the third beat with incomplete measure pick up beat one and two and three and again one and two and and then d is natural so it will be just regular d and c and a so that's the opening have you ever heard yes very famous tune right it's simple just like e d e d you play it twice and skip and skip and coming down so if you remember this first phrase it's just coming back how many times if you see a second phrase is the same and then the third phrase is the same and the fourth one is the same repeats back like five times or six times whole throughout the song then you know what half of our song is done and then the last part is coming from the chord pattern now let's see what is the last one if you see the left hand it starts from the second one and a minor chord what is the pattern of it a minor chord is like this but we play a one five one pattern which we learned it right and what about the next measure e and we're getting e octave and g sharp so it will be the e major chord but writing it and e e repeat and g sharp and the next one is again a minor chord so your left hand pattern is only two. A, E major chord, A minor chord, E major chord. That's all, just only two. Isn't it simple? Yes, very simple. If you know the pattern, then it's really easy. But if you don't know the pattern, you have to read each note. So whenever you see the new song, you have to look for the pattern of the song. And also pattern of the rhythm pattern of the chords and pattern of the technique got it then now let's go slow note by note right hand starts an e and left hand starts an a minor ready one and two and three and one and Is A2, A, A, and right hand is a C, D, A. So if you see it, basically this measure is consist 
system A minor. You see, A minor is A C E. So everything is rooted A C E A A E A. That's it. So this is literally chord. And what about the next one? Next measure is E. So it should be E G B E. The left hand is G sharp, and right hand plays E major chord again. Do you see? I was holding it down left hand even if there was rest. Why? Because I, just to show you what kind of note it is at that measure. But anyway, so this measure is consist of E major chord, which is E G sharp B. That's it. And then the next measure is again A E A. So A pattern, A minor pattern, and right hand goes E. And go to the next E and then it starts back again. The tunes. And then A again. It starts exactly the same. C, D, e, A, and B. E. e major chord pattern. This time right hand from E, C, B, changing letter B, and go to A minor. notation rule. 
So in here, left hand is E, E, E. You just play it three different E's with your right, left hand. And right hand gets the same E, start over. Got it? And then the next one. Do you see a little treble clap in here on the bass line? That means it's on the left hand, but you have to play it on treble clap. So it will be the same E and E. So actually, this E and E and the other E and E is the same E. But the difference is you play with your right hand and left hand like this. Right hand, left hand. So you need to practice this for a couple of times so that you can go without stopping. Sometimes students are playing, take a rest, and switching it. It has to be right after one and another. So it goes one, E, E, right hand, E, octave, and the left hand, the same note. And then if you see it, the next E, the same E is, looks exactly the same, right? Just only one is above, so it means you play with your right hand, left hand, the bottom treble clap means you play with your left hand. So it's the same E, but you go with right hand. So that's kind of simple but hard to play a well. So if I go again, E, right, left, right. You need to practice this part a lot. This is our lesson point for today. This is the what Beethoven wrote it. So you have to keep fingerings and hand positions as it's written. Got it? And then after that, what is it? D sharp on bass, not the bass clap, actually treble clap, but with your left hand. So D sharp and E, and exactly the same note, but with your right hand, finger number 23, again, left hand, and then right hand starts the same melody line again. And is I guess the second page from measure 17 which is going to part is starts from the second page top of the second page measure 17 C chord G chord I will tell you the practice tip here. Left hand, when you go from the top of the measure, second page, just practice left hand chord and then remember the position where it is. And then when you reach to the this part, E, remember by position. circle. Do you see it? And out and your left hand will be up here. When I play it E, you see it? And then B and then you have to make sure your hands are already there. Circle. So if I play it again slow motion, we do just like this. Left and this side, 
leave your right and that side so that it doesn't hit each other. Got it? And then the next measure is coming back again. Uh, on you play the notes. That's really important. All you need to remember is you have to smoothly connect between hands. So for example, when the melody line comes back and then between left and to right, do you see it? The thumbs, how you move. You have to keep holding and after you play the right hand beat smoothly. That's the key of playing well. So it will be, everything is the same, hold it until I play the left, right hand, got it? So everything goes like that. If you leave too soon, then it will be sound disconnected or detached, da da da, da da da, like this. So key of playing well is just connecting, holding. You see how you're gonna do your hand shape. So make sure. So you have to smoothly connecting between hands because that's everything. Now let's start in slow tempo and play from beginning to the end. Ready? One and two and three and one and two and three and one and A minor. E major.
sharp, and then right hand, and left hand again. Move by side. And then extra melody starts over again. So the opening is okay. You can just use whole one pedal. Actually, I use half of it. Not whole thing, but just, you know, push down a little bit and open the strings. And then actually pedal starts from A. And switching it E again. Presented, you can use pedal. Just every measure, beginning of the beat, you can change the pedal. That should be okay. Except where the E is coming. That one, if you see this measure, yeah, left hand E, right hand, and left hand, you can just keep holding it until the E. Because since it's the same E, you can push down until the right hand E part, and then when left hand plays the D sharp, you can just let it go to the pedal and then, and then, you know, changing again. Here maybe it's better to use it because you're switching hands so it's easier to play with the pedal than without. If you play it without, it will be sound disconnected or too dry. So maybe use the pedal, but just half of the pedal. So today's song seems pretty simple, right? Note is easy, but the problem is the technique. To play it smooth, you have to practice a lot. Especially, you have to relax your wrist. Instead of just holding it too straight, just relax and move it up and down. Like, like this, up and down, leave it, you know, and drop it. So use your wrist, then it should be easier and sound will be pretty. Now, through this level, we learn how to play a 7th chord, major, minor, and we learn all the chords and plus important techniques. So please wait for the, our last lesson of this level, and I will see you soon. Bye!